Sir? How's that? Isaac, now that's gotta be money. 10 and two, that's right buddy, 10 and two. That's more like just 12, hold on 12. Eyes straight ahead. Um, so, boom. Um, yeah, no, super psyched. So, brought in an intern, and um, so we're gonna do a little bit of, so this intern actually has a unique opportunity where he knows, um, it will, not knows, his father works very high up at a local dealership in central Wisconsin. And so um, I told him, like, you know, there's huge opportunities here to be able to open up a case uh, to, for, for the business. And so um, trying to be able to have that mindset where you're looking at the entire long range picture as an intern versus the short term need, right? Now, of course, there's a short term need. You got to, you know, cover your nut and all that fun stuff. But um, beyond that, start start collecting the skill set, the relationships, the networking to really go far wherever that might be for you. Alex, what's up? Good to see you. Um, so that's kind of the concept here. Um, so super excited about uh, him starting on Monday and we're gonna go through um, basically planning out the next three to four weeks to help him really grow this internship. Um, I'm gonna focus it really on two steps. One's gonna be focus on more sales, marketing, um, conversations with, uh, with individuals. The other side um, that we're gonna do is focus more on the analytics of what uh, what people don't see that we do when it comes to analyzing their data, so should be pretty uh, pretty fun uh, fun fun meeting on Monday. So really looking forward to that. Uh, really young guy, um, and so actually he was, I was he's asked me what he was doing for the weekend, going to Minneapolis with my wife, and then um, um, he was asking, or, excuse me, I asked him what he's doing, and he's moving, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I actually like helping friends move um, if if they give me enough, uh, you know. Op- if they give me enough heads up that they're going to move, I, I'll, I'll move them, dude. I'll, I'll you know, get, get a dolly. I love, I love the opportunity to move. Someone had helped me, a total stranger, when I first moved to Wisconsin um, 14 years ago. And so for me, it's only I, I just want to be able to help other people and pass it along, if you will. And so I gave the dude a $25 gift card. Super elated. This kid was just like ear to ear beaming that I gave him a gift card for pizza to pay, you know, pay for his buddies if they help him move. Um, that's very common here in Wisconsin, beer and pizza, if people help you move. Um, or if it's breakfast, beer and maybe Bloody Marys um, and donuts. Um, either way, there's been, typically in Wisconsin, uh, any activity is going to have beer involved. I went to a, the auto show in Milwaukee, and um, it's 10 in the morning, and people had beer and Bloody Marys. Just the, way, just the way it rolls. I don't know if there's an event that we go to that doesn't have that. Um, how did you end up in Wisconsin? Great question. So right out of college, um, I was working for Shopco in their stores as a store assistant store manager. Um, and then um, I interviewed with Cole's corporate office. They're the com- That's the company that moved me all the way out here to Wisconsin. And then um, worked for them for 18 months and then um, got into sales, uh, insurance and investments. And so that's what, that's what kept me here um, in Wisconsin. Uh, it's been a blast. Um, now it is it is it gets it does get crazy cold at times like negative 20 negative 40 we cancel school sometimes because the wind chill gets so low uh, but it's just weird just weird um but the summers are awesome because it doesn't get crazy hot too or too humid so it, it, it's nice um and then uh let's see so so that's always fun i think oftentimes if um 
as an employer, if we look from the perspective of our, of our employees, right, our interns, our, our new hires, our veterans, right, if we look at it from their perspective, what do they want? Come at it from, okay, how can I help you get what you want out of this? It might be more income, so how can I help you get more income? Um, you know, I, I, I'm surprised if a lot of people would ask their employees if they want more income, well, do you know anybody then that would be open to us talking to them about X, Y, or Z, right? So if, let's say I'm in a dry cleaning business and my employees are like, yeah, I want to get more money. Well, do you know anyone in your network that has a business that could use us for laundry services, like replacing their, their carpets? Do you know anyone that maybe wants to wash their curtains, right? Like bring in some high ticket items here to the laundry service, right? So, um, sorry, I just sat, sat down with the dry cleaner owner over the, over the lunch. So my mind's just thinking about their strategy. Um, Take my scouts to northern, uh, to, to northern tier in, in Feb uh, should be similar. Right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, the, um, that should be day day one question before you hire someone. Absolutely, it's so critical, and then and then it's so important, Mike, to be able to check in with those in, the, those employees um, on a regular basis. Now, regular, what is that? Whatever that means to to you and your your uh, your team, and 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 find out because things change, right? When if when I first started at Kohl's, um, I was single without children, right? Um, and then all of us, no, I was actually married. I was married without children. And then all of a sudden you fast forward, you know, five years later, you know, two kids in, in the house, right? So then all of a sudden my priority changes from running up a car, corporate ladder. I wasn't there that long, but you know, running up a corporate ladder, um, or versus maybe income or, or work-life balance, whatever that might mean to, to somebody else. So I think it becomes extremely critical to, to know exactly what people want, constantly checking in with them, um, to, to make sure that you're on points. Um, the, oh, they, they totally are. Mike, they, 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 they eat all our food. They, they, they literally like crap and pee on our money. Like I remember literally taking 20 bucks, going to Walmart with this, I think my son, my son was just, just recently born and literally giving 20 bucks to go home, to take the diaper box, to go clothe one of my children. Uh, I think it was the oldest son. So just the one, one son and I knew he was just going to pee or poop in it, and I was going to throw that throw that twenty bucks away. I'm literally crapping on my money. What what, what is mind open? Mind it's mind boggling at that point. Um, that kids are crazy. They're awesome. Sometimes they're totally ungrateful, and they're awesome. Um, they they make us crazy, and they're awesome. It's just it's just nuts. It's it's just uh, it's a weird 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 uh, weird opportunity. Um, you know, parenting parenting is just a weird opportunity uh, because some people don't have the ability to uh, to have children um, and and then and don't want to adopt. So definitely, you know, having children is is is, is an opportunity for us to grow. Um, so then. Again, where, where I'm going with all this, um, ha- had this wonderful conversation with this business owner who runs a, a dry cleaning business and just about um, kind of what they're doing for social media. Now, remember, I'm not in, I'm not in social media at all. I just, it's just something that I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of and it's got a lot of my attention uh, professionally because I think that's where a lot of other people's attention is as well. And so, uh, because I think there's good, good opportunities to use, use our finances, right, from a marketing perspective in that medium and then to be able to uh, connect with other people and businesses on these mediums is 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 awesome like i i'm really amazed so um, when i was talking to her about it she had gone to an ad agency and they knew how much revenue they pulled in and so for them they wanted to do this uh, marketing strategy that was like a hundred thousand bucks or you know heavy six figures and uh, and she's like it just didn't make any sense you know for us to be able to spend that kind of that kind of money um, and I said the the real reality is because you don't know if it's really going to return right that's the problem with a lot of these advertising agencies is that they don't have real metrics to to prove that because you put up that billboard that brought more people in right that um, that's why I like you know social media from a standpoint of a business perspective is that you can do some things at no cost to recognize your employees and and uh, and, and connect with the community and it's going to cost you zero dollars. What's up from Orlando? How you doing? Woo woo! Now Orlando's got some beautiful beautiful uh, weather down there. Um, definitely uh, jealous of the weather that is down there in Florida, Bronze Kingdom. That just sounds fantastic. Bronze just sounds like uh, tanning salon, just heaven, right? Tanning beautiful skin so not that i tan guys you don't tan in wisconsin um 
the the sun up here is so weak. You could literally be out here for like a couple hours before you need to put on sunscreen. Now you should put it on period just for good health and skin, blah blah blah. But uh, what I'm saying is you don't necessarily the, the sun just isn't powerful up here. Um, African Art Gallery Museum, nice, nice, nice. Um, Bronze Kingdom. If I recall correctly, I think I'm going to. I think I have a post right where I'm actually recognizing um, your profile of the day. Yeah, it's Sharice. Yeah, I'm. I'm totally gonna be. Uh, uh, I have um, the Bronze Kingdom. I think as or maybe it's your profile that's set to be um, profile of the day on my on my page. I think it was one of the museum, and I, and I was like, oh, that's a really cool video. And because I was mesmerized by it, my, my idea is to DJ that positivity, DJ something that, that was unique in my world, and that's what I want to share with people. Clay Corner Studio, who we actually have sun today. That's right, makes me happy today. Clay Studio, yes, Clay Corner Studio, guys. If you're ever in Wausau, it's fantastic. Um, it's it's uh, basically making your own, or so they have a bunch of porcelain things that you, is that porcelain? What is it, clay? Either way, you're painting it, and then they they uh, they put in the kiln. It's fantastic. What a fun event. Um, oh, my gosh. Is Sosa Fitness going to come on the live session? Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, you guys. Josh, what's up, buddy? Whoop, whoop. Good to see you, my friend. Um, if you guys had an opportunity to see the profile of the day, Sosa Fitness, oh, my gosh, um, has to have some of the best form I've seen in a fitness video. Um, absolutely phenomenal. The core is just is just solid. So yeah, you guys, if, if you ever come to, to Wassa, you gotta come check out Clay, uh, Clay's Corner Studio. Um, Clay Corner Studio, by the way, I, I just wanna be able to just start presenting, and I, it's kind of the, I, I'm, I am gonna pull up the old Field of Dreams and I don't believe in that crap, but if they build it, they will come. I wanna basically blast out there that I wanna give out some, some advice to business owners about leveraging social media and um, and the whole point of this is that in my, in my mind, if I can be of real value to people and understanding social media for their employees and for their community, then maybe they'll decide to use me as um, uh, their financial person, right? So I, basically, it's like financial advising with business strategy. That's that's really what I want to be able to be seen at is more I'm giving you business strategy and less of like um, just, oh yeah, I can get you a better rate of return because we both know that that's not true. Can I give you a better strategy financially and employee benefit wise? Absolutely. Um, but that's what everybody else is claiming in my in my in my industry. So I want to try to go towards some some white space where I'm seen more as a business strategist, more of a marketer, more of a sales individual for helping that business grow. That's kind of the concept here. Um, David, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for coming on board. Uh, so much love for you. Thank you, thank you, Sharice. Uh, appreciate you, um, and and that's super thoughtful. I love the unicorn, uh, Mark Aliota. He's not on, but. Um, I really like putting music in my videos that I, I find on SoundCloud. So if you guys have any, um, uh, one of my friends, uh, Mark uh, Strzeski, uh, down in Texas, actually has sent me a, sent me a bunch of people that um, he likes um, their, their Christian hip hop. And I'm like, oh, sure, I'll listen to some of that stuff and, and showcase some of them just because I want to I want to be able to promote other people. I like promoting other people because it makes me happy. It makes them happy. Um, one of the one of the happy things I was able to, that I like today. Um, I don't know if Sosa's still on here, but um, her post on her her page it got about um, 80 views, and on on my page today it got almost 20. That makes me really really happy that more people are now aware of who Sosa Fitness is, because she's awesome, and I want to be able to promote other people's awesomeness. Um, because there's no way that I have a monopoly on all the awesomeness now out there. Now, I might be able to um, sport a nice tie or put on a pair of cufflinks real good, but so can so many other people. And, and not everybody's going to like what I put out, but they might like watching a fitness person. Or they might like watching, like, Sharice and her, her, um, her, her museum that's, that, um, that she... Are you, do you curate it, Sharice? I don't know if she's still on or not. Um, but anyway, it's pretty interesting... Um, just fascinating to me um, that that whole context. So let's see what else. So that that's the idea. Oh, oh, good. Okay, sorry. I'm coming up close to landfill, and so it stinks when I typically drive through this section. I wanted to make sure the car is on recycle because I don't want to smell that. It just reeks. Yeah. And then you're stuck, and then you're like, oh, go faster, go faster. Doesn't necessarily help. Creative marketing. Boom. There you have it. Um, she does creative marketing for the African. 
What is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just pin it up there. The African Gallery Museum. African Art. African Art Gallery Museum. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's just fun. All right, hey, what's up? You are just too awesome. Sosa, seriously, impeccable form. It is literally like textbook. Oh, and, and, and of course you have some great flexibility. I think that does really help. That is one thing I will say, people, that I definitely am not good at. I should probably do a stretch day in, in all my workouts. I really need to do like some yoga to really stretch out my muscles because um, I have a tendency not to stretch for long periods of time, right? I'm stretching to kind of get loose, but not stretching for overall flexibility, which I think is important just for overall mobility. Um, which, by the way, I think that's what I'm more interested in from a health perspective now and a fitness perspective is I just want to live, look at, live a nice, long, quality life, right? I don't want to be hunchback later on in life. I don't want to, um, you know, have, have like ailments with my knees or my back or, or something weird that a lot of old dudes get. Um, so I, I, I'm always looking for, that's really my fitness goal, right? Is I just want nice longevity, um, but I, you know, I'm going to, this is a, this is vitamin water, vital water. It makes me feel like it's healthy, um, but I'm sure there's a lot of sugar in it. Um, I'm going to drink my soda because I want to. Um, and I know, you know, eventually it'll kill me, but so, will, so, will, so will everything else. More likely than not, what'll kill me is actually my driving. Um, cause sometimes I'll just go like right now I'm just going 90. Nope. I exaggerated. I'm going 87, 87 miles an hour. Okay, where are we at? Forever Young. What's up, Sonny? That's my boy out from BC. Good to see you, my friend. Um, no, no, I'm just totally kidding. Just to always remind her, guys, the, the phone is inside a cradle. Always, always be safe. I have a very, I have a very, uh, very nice car. Has smart cruise. Has lane, uh, lane departure warnings. Um, so the, the smart cruise will literally pull my car right to a stop. If, uh, if, if I miss something, right? So just always be careful, right? Uh, much love. Well, much love to you, my friends. Hello, blessings, bro. Hey, thank you, um, Sharice. I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Sharice. I hope I am. Um, anyways, let's go back to Sosa because I just absolutely just am, am, am tickled pink uh, by some of the awesome stuff that she puts out. So number one, the, I was, I was uh, showcasing uh, Break Bronze Kingdom. If you see that in the, in the, in the, in the comments, streets. Oh, I'm glad I'm saying it right. Awesome. Awesome. Yay for me. Um, so Sharice is actually a creative marketer for, um, the art, the African art gallery. So check her out. Um, and, and if not, don't worry, she's going to be a profile of the day. Um, so we're going to, we're going to be promoting that, uh, African art gallery. Cause I just, I just find it really cool. Um, you are seven times more likely to get struck by lightning than win the Powerball. Uh, that, that's very true. Um, I think we're more likely as well to get struck by lightning than we are to get bitten by a shark, but yet so many people are terrified of the beach um, because of sharks. Um, yes, it is really important to get some um, nice stretch, even if it's a workout though. Uh, oh, and have a safe, uh, safe drive, dear. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for that, Sosa. Um, so anyways, so I put her out here because I really like her posts. Um, now, now some people that post out there like tr fitness trainers, um, you know, it's, it's, it's dudes with their shirts off or it's, you know, girls in like really tight, tiny little shorts and these, you know, sports bras. And I admire that, right? They put a lot of hard work in and I totally get it. Right. So if I had an eight pack, I'd probably run around with my shirt off as well, but I probably still wear a vest and find, figure out how to put cufflinks on. Um, cause that's just my style. Um, but I, I think a lot of times when, when we're too sexual, we have a tendency to alienate the people that we're trying to get after, right? So if I'm a fitness trainer, ultimately, who do I want to work with? I want to work with people maybe that, that like I don't want to work with people that want to get six packs or eight packs. I want to get, help people that are, want to lose 80 pounds or 100 pounds. And so they might find me prancing around in my sports bra and undies because I do have sports bra and undies. Um, they might find that very intimidating, right? Uh, video pause. Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? I hope so. What's up? Oh no, am I not here? In my mind, I'm here. On my side, it's, it's, it's still here. Can you guys hear me? Um, maybe you can hear the audio, but you can't see the video anymore. Is, is, that, is that what happened? Uh, freaking sprint. Um, it, would, it wouldn't be like I'm in a rural area right now because I'm in actually in a, in, a, in a densely populated area 
densely in parentheses, right? Because this is in New York City. So um, dense, dense for Wisconsin. Um, but it's, it's like uh, Green Bay Appleton. So this should be a uh, hot spot. So um, the video paused. You know, I'm going to have to shut it down. Let's shut it down. Shut it down. 